look at that guy. Whew. Well, guys, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to all. Welcome to Hartung Family Farms. And today, it is definitely a good evening here. It's 540 in the afternoon. I got off work a little later than I wanted to, but we're going to go auction shopping. There's an auction this Saturday. I'm going to be gone, but the butt man should be able to get you guys some action from it. So there are a couple things at an auction near us. It's a farm retirement auction, roughly 30 to 30 ish minutes away from us. A couple things on there I'm interested in. A couple tillage tools, a dirt pan, it's kind of interesting I want to look at. And the biggest thing is a cattle trailer. We, uh, we need some things. It's that time of year where we're, uh, you know, there's some auctions coming up and whatnot, and this one being close, I want my dad to go take a look at it and see if we can uh, pick something up. You know, obviously, auctions never know, especially the last couple years that prices have been very inflated, but, you know, you never know with uh, grain prices down below $4 right now, you might be able to find something that uh, at a reasonable price. So that's what we're going to hopefully do. I'm going to go take a look at some stuff right now, and again, my dad's actually going to go to the auction. I'm basically going to see what I think is good, what I'd pay for it, and then he'll go there and bring the checkbook and actually decide what we want to do. So that's going to be our job. We're going to go up there right now, take a look at some auctions, some auction items. We only have literally uh, 20 to 30 minutes of daylight left, and I got 20 minutes of driving. So hopefully we can at least see some stuff before it gets too dark. But we're going to start. They're in two different spots, located roughly 10 minutes apart. I'm five minutes away from one right now. We're going to go look at the gooseneck trailer. So a gooseneck trailer is what we move our cattle around with. It's a uh, truck truck trailer and we don't have anything up north in Bellevue right now and it'd be nice to have one because anytime my dad has to go bring a cow to a vet or anything like that he has to go down drive down to Preston pick up the trailer drive back move the cow around then drive the trailer back it's it's kind of a pain in the neck so it'd be nice to get something so we'll see what we uh, we'll see what we find there it is let's go take a look at it <laughs> So the hitch and tongue have definitely seen better days, but no cracked welds or anything, so that's good. Just a little bit of rust. Honestly, the floor looks pretty good. No cracks, no nothing. So that's good. Yeah, this looks really nice. The inside looks great. Oh, that was a little sketchy right here. I'm gonna have to look at that from the underneath. That, meh. Overall, not bad. It's definitely in rough shape. It's a 30 year old trailer, but it's aluminum. I think it worked pretty well. Curious to see what it'll go for, but I'm not seeing anything too bad right now. Try and crawl under here real quick. See how bad things are rusted. Honestly, not too bad. Definitely some cracked welds though. Yeah, like these welds are cracked right where I was thinking the uh, that bubble was. So you'd want to get that alum aluminumly welded. Actually, doesn't look too bad though. I guess that's definitely some rust. Zip ties underneath. I don't know. It's not in bad shape, but it's not in great shape. I was hoping to be in better shape, but as far as like mechanically sound, it's in pretty good shape. A couple missing welds, but for the most part, it's really good mechanically sound. Okay, let's go over. Sun has set, better boogie over to the other place. Just making it to the actual auction place. Looks like I'm not gonna be the only one here, but that's all right. Yeah, they basically had that trailer up at up at the actual auctioneer's place just to kind of make sure nobody hooks onto it and drives away. But this is a farm retirement auction. It's always sad to go these, see these things, but they're actually becoming a lot more common than people think. It's just, times are getting tough. Farmers are few and far between. As far as uh, new guys coming in versus old guys coming out, a lot more old guys coming out than new guys coming in. So you're seeing these more and more, which always sucks to see because farming is just, it's a generational thing. There's just families have been around for a while doing it. it just sucks to see somebody's hard, hard work being sold off like this, but 
just a fact of life right now, I suppose. So I'm just going to go around and see if there's anything that's it worth interesting, worth looking at. Go from there. Little full row IH planter. Subsoiler. Here's a disc. Plows. Ooh, that drag. Let's take a look at that drag. See, I'm not the only one taking, going around and taking a look at this. So this is a drag. Quite literally is what you think it is. You unfold it and you drag behind it. Just kind of smooths out your fields. This looks pretty nice. Tires are in good shape. Hydraulics look pretty good. These don't look too bad at all. Well, I should say the hydraulic hoses have, uh, I've, I've seen worse. I've seen a lot better, but I've seen worse. It's actually kind of neat how this thing works. Doesn't have a jack on it, but we can fix that. We can put a jack on this thing pretty easily. Yeah, I wouldn't be opposed. And the cool thing about this thing, it'd be a deer. At least I think so. It's green and yellow, yellow rims. So not too bad. I think this thing would work. If we pick it up for a couple hundred bucks, that'd be good enough. Let's go see what else we got here. Got some saddle tanks for a tractor, a bunch of gravity wagons, a field cultivator with a rake controller on it. Nothing too fancy, but it's enough stuff around. Look at this old jalopy, this old feed wagon. What if it still works? I doubt it just by looking at it. Old Scottsdale. Sweet. Scottsdale with a feed wagon on it. Bunch of gates. They must have been hog farmers just by looking at it. Yeah, these guys are definitely hog farmers. You can tell they're hog farmers because the, the gates are uh, really short. These are cattle gates. So they had hogs and cattle. Quite a bit of gates and, and equipment out and about. Like I said, I don't know if Dad will be interested in it a whole lot unless it's as it goes for pretty cheap and now let's go take a look at some of the larger equipment here we go here's a john deere so here's a john deere 200 it is a dirt pan and i have never used one before never even seen one if i'm being honest it doesn't look like it's in too bad of a shape that's the strange part came out of sioux city iowa it's the other side of the state Looks like you literally just have one hydraulic circuit. I'm guessing that's to raise. Yeah, it looks like you quite literally dig it into the ground like this. And when it's full, you raise it up, tilts it back. And I wonder how you dump it though is the question I have. Oh, I bet. I bet you dump it like this. Huh. I think actually it's pretty neat. It looks like it's in pretty good shape too. That's a pretty sweet deer. Yeah, it looks like it's in surprisingly really good shape. So let's see what else we got here. Feed away, or manure spreader, feed grinder, hay rake, a couple other stuff. Man, not really too terribly interested in any of that. Head back. There are some tractors and some pickups on here as well, but again, we're not really interested in them. So I'll head back to the car, just do one more lap and see if there's anything else we got here. Old cattle trailer, just a lot of old stuff. It's guys like us and like a lot of farmers, older cattle farmers, keep a lot of stuff. We don't get rid of a lot, that's for sure. Right, wrong, or indifferent, which you never know with a one time in 30 years where you could use that one bolt where if you threw it away last year, well, it's it's gone. We got a John Deere 535 baler, looks like a five by five, a 926 moco, which looks like it's in decent shape. Got him and W mower. Let's look at this cult packer. See, he's got a chisel and a field cultivator. This thing's real wide. All right, let's see what this thing looks like. Hoses are in good shape. Hydraulics in good shape. That tire's good. This thing isn't too bad a shape. Curious what this thing will go for. Everything looks like it's in good condition. What I like about this style, so ours is all on one acting cylinder. So you raise it up, raise it up on its wheels or you put everything down. And the farther you push the cylinder, the more these springs dig in. Well, you actually have this little uh, brake clamp thing that is seized. Never mind. 
Oh, might be locked. No, it's not locked. Yeah, she looks like she's seized. But you can actually lock up your uh, your tines, whatever you want to call them. So, huh. Well, like I said, I doubt we'd bid on this, but if we can get it for like 200 bucks, we'd buy it. I don't think it'll go that cheap, but that's what it is. 1550 bush hog chisel. Not interested in that at all. The sealed cultivator I might be interested in. I think this thing is gonna go for like a thousand plus, but yeah, we really don't need it. It's another bush hog. Just a field cultivator to help level out, level out your field. Nothing really too special with it. It looks like it's in decent shape. About 12 feet wide. Good drag chains. Yeah, nothing too crazy about it. Just a simple field cultivator, a molts finisher, I should say, since it's got the disc. They spin at least, so that's good. Hydraulic hose doesn't look too bad. Look at the frame. Like I said, I don't think we're interested in it, so I don't know why I'm wasting my time with it. Maybe just show you guys. Well, that shouldn't be. This gang is loose. All these should should not spin independently because it's spinning independently. That's not good. Yeah, we're not gonna buy this thing. I'm not gonna waste my time. This gang needs it tightened up. We got some augers over here. They were 10 inch augers, maybe. They're all eight inch, smaller things. That's it for over here. Let's go ahead and take a look at that stuff over there and then start heading home. And yes, walking around on my injured leg definitely does hurt. For those of you guys who don't know, I did hurt my leg playing basketball a week ago today. Went in for a layup, my planted my foot to cut, my foot stayed, my knee went to the inside and buckled me. So went to the doctor today after about a week. So we think ACL is negative, thankfully. That uh, we think it's a torn meniscus. So what I'm gonna do is go to physical therapy. I'm wearing a brace right now, so that should help and then just kind of see if it see if it heals naturally, and if it doesn't, I might have to get some surgery done, Ugh, which I would suck. Out at daylight, so uh, it looks this just looks like all scrap. They are selling quite a bit of scrap iron. Yeah, it just looks like all scrap. So we will head home, guys. Appreciate you tuning in. I'm hoping my dad goes to this auction. Hopefully, he gets us a little bit of footage while he's here. We shall see, but. Until next time, I will catch you guys later. Oh, and I'm Mike Mitchell. Adios. Ooh, I can't adios you guys yet. I see a guy in a field. First field work I've seen in 2024. Let's go take a look. He's got LED lights in the front. I'm guessing it's a case, but honestly, I'm not sure. It looks like he's chiseling because he doesn't have a big swath with. I can see that. Looks like an old case Magnum, I'm guessing. I was going to close out the video, but this is a little bonus. A little bonus tillage. Yeah, he's got a Case Magnum, Chrome Stack, looks like an MX series. Oh yeah. Listen to that girl grunt. Yeah, he's got a chisel on there. How about that? That's a, that's a good way to end the video. First tillage field work of 2024 right there. So, all right guys, I'll catch you next time. Well, good morning. It's 11.30 on Saturday. It is March 2nd. You got the Bud Man here from Heart Tongue Family Farms. I'm heading over to Bernard, Iowa. Here's a car wash. Hey, there's a farm sale over there that Ron wanted me to stop at. There's a couple things we're interested in. Check out a few items that we've been looking at, looking for. Once I get over there, I will uh, fill you in with more details, huh? Well, I had to park in the back 40, but this is the first thing we're looking at. Come out of Bellevue. So we're gonna look at a few things here quick and then see what kind of auction is going. Looks like a lot of people are looking at it right now. So <clears throat> a lot of stuff out here. Let's see the other thing over here I'm gonna be looking at. How you doing? Not too bad, you? Windy out. Yeah, it is. It's kind of cold a little bit. 
This might not be too bad of a thing. It looks like a John Deere. Don't really care for the hookup. That might not too be too bad if we get it for a couple hundred bucks. Sprayer wouldn't be bad to have either, I guess. Depends what it goes for. Here's an old Colter Packer. Looks like in pretty good shape. A lot of stuff out here. It could take a long time to get through it, so we'll see what happens. Lots of vehicles all the way up to the road, going both ways. So you know there's a lot of people here, lots of vehicles. So, I don't know what it's going to go high, low. I'm going to guess maybe on the high side with all these people here, but <clears throat> won't know until we get here. Okay, we're back over here to sale, and look who I ran into. Holy tamale, look at that. What's going on, buddy? Oh, not a whole lot. What are you buying today? Oh, not a whole lot. Not a whole lot? Not a whole lot here, is there? A lot of junk. A lot of, you heard it from him. A lot of junk, and he is right. So, how's everything going with you? Oh, pretty good. Day by day, huh? Slowly recovering. Slowly recovering. Pretty lucky lad, weren't you? Yeah. I can remember that like it was yesterday. We were down picking corn there when all them lights were up there. Yeah. So, but you turned out pretty good. Pretty lucky. Yeah. How are we doing? <laughs> Little only but goody. Forty-five dollars for this old girl. Now ten, now twenty. One guys, I got one ten here. Gotta be one twenty. One twenty, one ten, twenty. Sold it right here. Hundred ten. I don't know what this thing's worth, but I'd like to have it. So we'll see. Seventy-five, hundred dollar bill. Hundred dollar, one twenty-five. One twenty-five, one fifty, seventy-five, one seventy-five. One fifty, one seventy-five. I'm not the dude. We're gonna do the car. A hundred dollar bill, do the car, do the car. A hundred dollar bill, do the car, do the car. Now do fifty, seventy-five, three. A two seventy-five, now fifty. Good on these one, two, or three of choice. I said sold two seventy-five. Okay, now they're gonna bid on these. Twelve foot gate. Yeah. Holy cow! We can buy them new for that. One seventy-five each. We're gonna sell the shoot, so let's see what it goes. Two thousand dollars for it. Wow. I was hoping fifteen hundred. I'd get it, but it ain't gonna happen. Welcome to Heart Tug Family Farm. What's your name? Luke. Luke who? Marcus. Luke, what are you buying out here today? Uh, a plow, we think. A plow? Yeah. How many bottom is it? Four or five bottom? Four, but you can have it up to five. Okay. okay. Go subscribe to CNL Farms on YouTube. CNL Farms? Yep. yep. Okay. Did you hear that? CNL Farms. You now, this John Deere 400. Yeah, you will be. Eight hundred dollars. Thousand dollars. Three hundred dollars. Okay, they're gonna sell this corn planter next. This went one seventy-five. This needs some work. Ross behind you, four fifty. A four hundred dollar bill, four fifty. A four hundred dollar bill, four fifty. A seven fifty. 
$400 for the planet. Okay, they're selling the disc now. Okay, now they're going to sell a choice of the uh, elevators. Okay, let's see what this cultivator is. Cultivator packer brings. That guy's on the phone bidding over there. Nineteen hundred dollars. We're gonna get somebody on the phone in this room. That gentleman here. Six thousand dollar bill now. Seven eight. I said, no, baby, 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 there's Darren's grandpa right there. Twenty-six hundred dollars for the mixer. Let me add a little bit right here. There's going to be a lot of people bidding on that Thunder Lake Taylor up there. That's where I'm going next because that's what I'm interested in. That's the only thing I need. Well, need versus want, so we'll see how bad I need it or how bad I want it. So I think it's an 18-foot feather lake trailer, so three more things to sell, then I can see what's going to happen. There. Okay, this is the last thing we're interested in, is this feather lake trailer. So we'll see what this brings. Keep going a little bit. Keep going a little bit. What's it going to bring? Keep going. Guys, 15? Oh, possibly. Guys, uh, I, was hoping right right I was hoping 10, but... Uh, I'm going to call two oh. things on it. On the, the neck there, Ross, a little spring going up and down. That is a little bit weak. Show it to him, Wayne. <laughs> right there. And guys, Bob had this wired up. If you look into his 1999 truck down here, he grounded it is how he grounded that truck, okay? Anyway, I took it down the zips because I couldn't get the lights to work. Once we grounded it to my truck, every light lit up. So the you're gonna have to change the ground, or the other thing you do is by the ball, like Bob did, you can look at it, this, 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 this truck down there, he welded the piece off of it, he put a ground to it, and that's how he, he did it. Exactly! Jars likes to do it. What do you think? Yeah! 
That's him or me? That's him. Oh. I'm back. You went that way. Yes! Now 10 5, now 10 5, now 10 5, 10 our uh, spring consignment sale. It's uh, well, the first thing. Let's take a look today. Little hole, bitty livestock. It's a yeah. 2011. Okay. I was say, if you don't, maybe I'd take it home and I'd use it then. So. <laughs> there it is. Ron bought it though. Ron did. That John Deere money. John Deere money, yeah. Okay, that's all I have to do for today is come out here. We bought something anyway, so. With that being said, we're going to get this loaded up and get it out of here. So, you got the button, man. Well, there it is, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. The Bud Man just bought a stock trailer. I think I got a pretty good deal. I don't know for sure. But we have it. Let's get out of here. A lot of cars. So, I'm going to give Ronald a call and see what he's... Well, there it is. It's home. It is new home. So... It needs a little bit of work, not much, but Ron says we'll get her going. It's going to save us a lot of time going down to Preston to get that trailer to come up and haul cows around. So that's why we did it. So I'm happy. 